What is up YouTube? It is Matt back with another crypto video and today's video is on Tron TRX. First article I have for you out of the news BTC. Tron TRX Network launches its first crypto game. Second article I have out of the Oracle Times. Tron decentralizes the web with Project Atlas and BitTorrent to pay users with TRX for seeding. And as always, if you enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, like it, share it, leave a comment, and let's get right to it. So Tron Network launches its first crypto game. The moment that a lot of Tron TRX enthusiasts have been waiting for has finally arrived. A new announcement by Tron's creator, Justin Sun, states that the first idle blockchain game in the world will be launched on the Tron Network. So the game is called Magic Academy, and it is a product of BitGuild. Uh, this is a company that aims to redefine the way players interact with their games, other players, as well as the game developers. While playing this game, players will be free to sell, buy, or trade any game items they wish. And this is Justin Sun tweeting about that here. Uh, so this move represents Tron and BitGuild's first step on the road of revolutionizing the gaming industry on a global level. Thanks to blockchain technology, BitGuild aims to introduce a platform for an entirely new class of games. Players will now have real ownership of various in-game assets that they can trade cheaply and safely. BitGuild's team consists of veterans of game development industry. These professionals originate from all corners of the world, united in their desire to change the way games work. So what will the game be like? Uh, Magic Academy will allow players to buy wizards as well as different items used for upgrading them. According to the team, by buying wizards and upgrading items, you can upgrade the currency in this magic world, which is your production of jade. So jade will be the currency that is within this game. So all jade that players will own are actually TRX20 tokens, which can be continuously mined. So the currency within the game is a real uh, currency in the real world. Uh, so after buying warriors and gaining battle power, players will be able to buy different items that will increase that battle power. Once their characters are strong enough, players can attack other players and steal their jade supply. The production of jade will increase with the purchase of wizards and upgraded items. In other words, the more items a player owns, the higher their jade production speed will be. And that's a very interesting uh, concept that this game has is that when you're battling other players and you're uh, stealing their jade, you're actually stealing uh, real money. Uh, so that's definitely an interesting uh, evolution of the gaming industry. So apart from producing the TRX-20 token, Magic Academy will also allow players to receive rare prizes in the forms of items. These items will be unique because they are based on the TRC-721 standard. By gaining these items, players will increase their battle power as well as jade production speed. All items, including the prizes, can be freely traded among players, and Tron has just entered the realm of blockchain gaming and more are likely to follow. And I would uh, agree with that 100%. Uh, this is really just the first game on uh, Tron's network, and uh, certainly there's going to be more and more pop up uh, as time goes on, especially when they see how successful this one will likely be. And I, I definitely like the idea that you're earning uh, TRX-20 tokens. You're earning real money by playing the game, and you have the ability to uh, steal that money from other players by being better than them. Uh, so switching to this second article here out of the Oracle Times, Tron decentralizes the web with Project Atlas, BitTorrent to pay users with TRX for seeding. So Tron's Justin Sun continues to revolutionize the blockchain technology industry and keeps creating new real cases for crypto uses. Uh, so BitTorrent users will be rewarded in TRX. The Tron team revealed that after an upgrade of the file sharing platform BitTorrent, users who are providing content will be rewarded in TRX in order to stimulate file sharing. Previously, the process of sharing content via BitTorrent was free and the seeders were the content providers. The leechers were the individuals who consumed or downloaded the files. Having no greater incentive to save material, a seeder did not have any real motivation to maintain a file available for others to download. This decision to use TRX to back BitTorrent uh, comes right after the announcement of Project Atlas, which is an essential part within Tron's roadmap. The blockchain is used as the foundation of BitTorrent's architecture, 
With the help of this innovation, the team behind Tron really hopes to transform the content distribution industry as a step forward in their vision of decentralizing the web. Project Atlas to decentralize the web. So Justin Sun commented on the high significance of Project Atlas and PR Newswire reported the following, and this is a quote from Justin Sun. Uh, Project Atlas is the foundation for a new way of content distribution. To start, the product will feature faster downloads, more seeds, no mining, and backward compatibility. It is adapted to the world we live in today, which is mobile, connected, and transparent. We aim to eventually empower all content creators and their communities by eliminating the middleman and enabling content creators to distribute directly to the user. So Project Atlas's backward compatibility allows BitTorrent's users to enjoy the services regardless of the client that they used. This is an excellent way to support the massive adoption of the new BitTorrent platform. Users will be able to pay seeders for allocating more bandwidth to their equipment. This will result in a higher speed and it will stimulate the use of TRX by both the seeders and the leechers. And certainly uh, this would be uh, revolutionary for the way things are currently done by incentivizing uh, people to share content and maintain those files. Uh, I potentially see some legal issues in the future if uh, someone is sharing a, a movie for free. Well, they're getting paid to uh, share a movie, which uh, I could see uh, the people that created that movie being uh, unhappy with that. So uh, again, that will wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, like it, share it, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.